Welcome to Electro Online. In this example, it appears like we're dealing with a very different kind of problem. And in a way we are, but essentially it's still an equation that has rational expressions. Matter of fact, what we could do is we could go ahead and rewrite this as follows. We can rewrite this as 6 over x squared plus 1 over x to the first power minus 2 equals 0. And then we realize that the lowest common denominator is x squared. But whenever we have a problem like this, there's kind of a shortcut method. What you're going to do here is you're going to multiply both sides of the equation by x to the positive exponent of the largest negative exponent that you find. In other words, if this is x to the minus 2, you're going to multiply, and I'm looking for my red pen, with x to the positive 2 power. And the same on this side, x to the positive 2 power. Now, if this was 6x to the minus 3, you would multiply both sides by x to the positive 3rd power. And essentially, you're doing what you would do in the first place, is find the lowest common denominator, which is x squared, and then multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator. So you can just kind of do that all in one step. When you do that, you get the following x squared times x to the negative 2 is equal to 1, so you end up with a 6, plus x squared times x to the minus 1 is equal to x to the first power, and x squared times a minus 2 gives you minus 2x squared equals 0, because 0 times anything is still 0. Then multiplying everything by negative 1 and rearranging the terms, we get 2x squared minus x minus 6 equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and erase this part right here, because we may need the room. And what we need to do now is factor that. We might be able to guess, so let's see. We're going to have a binomial here equals 0. We're going to need a 2x times an x. This indicates that, well, though this indicates we have a plus and a minus, and when we add, we get a minus 1. So let's see here. Uh, minus 2 and plus 3, because plus 3 minus 2 gives me minus 6. Negative 2 times, positive, times a positive 2x is a minus 4x, plus a 3x gives you a minus x. So that is the proper way to factor that. Now, what that means is that we have two binomials multiplied together, giving me a 0. That means that either the first binomial, 2x plus 3, equals 0, or the second binomial, x minus 2, is equal to 0, which means that 2x equals negative 3, or x equals negative 3 over 2 as one possible solution, and here we get x equals 2 as the other possible solution. So those are the two possible solutions. Now let's quickly check to see if there's any violations here. Notice that if we write this as 6 over x squared or 1 over x, that means that x cannot equal 0. As long as we adhere to that rule, we're fine. And since neither one of these solutions is 0, we have ourselves two solutions that meet or satisfy that equation. And that is how it's done.